I'm John Larson, Technical Trainer for EpiRock USA, Surface and Exploration Drilling. Today we're going to talk about a pre-shift inspection on a SmartRock T40. Here we are on the cabin side of the machine. First thing we're going to check out, make sure the e-stop's pulled out. Inspect the wiring for any damage, corrosion, any issues you may find. In this area, we're going to check out the air cleaner, the fuel water separator, any leaks, drips, damage to the hoses. We can check the level for our engine coolant up top. And again, anything general in this area for damage, signs of wear, leaks, things of that nature. Here at the back of the machine, we can inspect the water mist tank, the hoses for any damage, wear, leaks. Keep in mind, this is in the drilling position. We don't want to transport or drive around the mine site with the water tank in this position. We're going to open up the back hatch so we can inspect the level of our compressor oil, which is right here. We can inspect our engine oil, the dipsticks right there and the fill tubes right there. Again, any signs of damage, leaks, things of that nature is what we're going to look at. This model is also equipped with the rear winch. We're going to inspect the cabling, the saddle, the becket, the hoop, for any signs of damage or wear. Also be sure that the rollers are in good working order. Over here, we have our rock drill oil with the level indicators for sight glasses. We're also going to check out the dust collector system. Make sure there's no leaks coming from the hoses from anywhere in this area. The fasteners are secured as well as the lighting. There's no damage to those, the strobe and the backup alarm. Moving around to the non-cabin side of the machine, we can open up the door, verify the air cleaner assembly is in good shape. There's no leaks, drips, damage to the hoses coming from the pumps. Our ECL return tank, we can drain it, make sure that there's no excessive oil coming out of the top and we can verify our hydraulic oil level with the two sight glasses. If we've got oil on the top sight glass, we're good. If there's no oil in the sight glass, we need to add. Moving forward, we can verify that the e-stop is out and not tripped. Check these hoses and electrical for any signs of wear, damage, leaks, things of that nature. Moving forward, we'll check the hoses coming through the bulkhead for leaks, air hoses, be sure that the air valve is closed for the auxiliary air, and we'll also be sure that the central lube reservoir is full for the day's drilling. Out on the feed, we're going to do the same as we have throughout the whole machine. Checking all the hoses, hydraulic lines, electrical for signs of damage, wear, leaks. Be sure that we have good cable, there's no fraying on it, no leaks from the drifter, the mounting bolts are good and tight. We'll check out our centralizer table, make sure that there's no leaks, everything's getting greased. Everything's all good, as well as our dust hose for the dust collection, our rod grippers and transfer arms and carousel, that everything's in good working order and that we're getting good grease supplied to the brushes for the drill steel. Moving back to the cabin, we can inspect the reservoir for the thread grease, as well as the pump, the washer fluid level. We want to check out the glass for any chips, cracks, or damage all the way around the cabin, including the windshield wipers. Now that we've walked around the whole machine, we want to check the tension for the track. Be sure that there's no sags in it. If there is sags, we need to put a little tension in there. Refer to the manual for that. If you need any further assistance with this, please contact your local EpiRock service center or dealer in your area.